What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're showcasing a Lantern team in Ranked Regulation F. Now, Lantern, let's be honest, nobody uses this Pokemon. So it's definitely going to be a lot of fun to use this Pokemon considering Pokeburn made this team and made Lantern viable. Huge shout out to Pokeburn. Thank you so much for making this team and making it a rental code. I will be linking his channel down in the description below alongside with the Pokebase. But let's get back to talking about Lantern. This Pokemon is an electric and water type, and like I said, nobody uses it, so we're trying it out today. It has water absorb as its ability, so we're going to be able to pair it up with this Surf Dragapult to get this thing constant HP back. It's got Assault Vest as item, making him a bit bulkier on that special defense side, and then on top of that, it's got Muddy Water for Stab, E-Web for Speed Control, you got Ice Beam to deal with the Dragon types and with Landrises, and last but not least, we got Dazzling Gleam. Lovely little fairy move. Fairy moves are always super, super solid. Other Pokemon on today's team, we already mentioned Dragapult to pair up with Lantern. We got Amoongus for support. We also have Fake Out Tinkaton, a sweet Gen 9 Pokemon that I love its design. I think it's such a cool Pokemon. Always love, love using that. Our final two Pokemon are going to be Blood Moon Ursaluna. And last but not least, we got Hisuian Arcanine, who is still very solid in Ranked Regulation F. Guys, you want to rent the team for yourself? Rental code is at the top right hand corner. And if you do enjoy today's video, make sure you leave a like on it and subscribe to the channel if you have not done so already. But without further ado, let's hop into our first match showcasing Lantern. Hopping into our first match for today's video, going up against a pretty meta team. They got Incineroar, they got Rillaboom, Raging Bolt, Frigograph, Urshifu, and Ursa Luna. So this team is going to be so tough to grab wins with today. I'll be happy if we can pull off one, maybe two wins, right? Two wins would actually be awesome. But uh, yeah, very meta team going up against a very off meta team. Who should we bring? How should we lead this one? I definitely want to bring in Ursaluna here just in case they want to pop the truck inside of things. That could be pretty good. We could also go in with Amoongus. I don't think that's bad at all, but I want to bring in Lantern. I might lead Lantern and Dragapult. They could intimidate us with Incineroar. If that's the case, Lantern and Dragapult are both special attacking, and that could work out well. So we're going to bring Ursaluna in the back end, and last but not least, actually, I think I'd rather go Arcanine instead of Amoongus, just for E-Speed and for some big-time damage with Choice Band moves. I'm all about it. So we're going in with these four, looking to have a close match, maybe try to pull off a nice little upset win here. But Lantern's so cool, but just not that good, right? It's kind of here with a bunch of coverage moves, Assault Vest, trying to get after it. I'm kind of hoping they're going to pop Trick because that would actually work a little bit better for us. But Lantern could pop a nice little Speed Control here, which would be nice. We do love some Speed Control. E-Webs across the board. They do go in Cinemore. They are going to Intimidate and probably fake out the Lantern, which could be tough. I do not have Protect on it. And we'll kind of see how we want to play it from there. But I don't know. I don't know. Maybe we should have brought it in the back because if they lead Urshifu. Yep, and there's Incineroar Urshifu. That's kind of tough. So we do have Water Absorb. They can't fake out my Dragon Ball, which is rather nice. They can't fake out the Dragon Ball. I got Clear Body. You're not affecting me with Intimidate regardless. But um, from here, I would love to just go for an E-Web. Uh, e just to slow down everybody. And I might just protect this turn. Probably not. I think I might just try to go for h Rico Me. We do have a Steel Terror type if we want to use him. But with Urshu on the field, mm, that thing's choice. He could just rip up into me. We're hoping it's not choice. So I'm just going to go in a solo Draco Meteor turn one. Look to get off some big time damage. He's just going to U-turn out of here. So he's U-turning. That's fine. I get off an E-Web this turn. And I get the uh, and I get the Draco Meteor whatever Pokemon they bring in here. So who you got cooking in here? It's going to be Frigoriff. So we get the Draco Meteor that. I don't mind that. I don't mind that. Draco Meteor is flying. Solid damage all around. We half it up. And I'm going to drop my special attack. So I go for an E-Web. I'm going to slow down. He's probably going for a knockoff, most likely, right? He's probably most likely going for a knockoff. And they're going to eat up a berry. So Incineroar's still here. Knockoff party shot. What are you cooking here? I'm going to go for a knockoff. I have Focus Sash right now. And I'll use it here. Beautiful. But Sash up. I still have my Dragon Ball. I might want to swap out my Dragon Ball. I could. But from here, I'm going to go Muddy Water. I could Surf just to get HP recovery, or I could save this Pokemon and maybe go into Ursaluna this turn. Because if they want to pop Trick Room, I wouldn't mind if they pop Trick Room. I wouldn't mind. Or would I rather go into Arcanine here? Or would I rather go into Arcanine? Hmm. I don't know. 
I don't know. Arcanine or Ursaluna? Because I think they might just attack. I'm going to go into Arcanine. I am going to go into Arcanine. So I go into Arcanine here. They might not pop Trick Room this turn, which I'm, I, I kind of hope they do. I kind of hope they don't. But I should be able to get off a nice little Muddy Water with my Lantern. And I get off a nice little bit Intimidate onto Incineroar, which is solid. So I get off that Muddy Water going to fly. And he's going to do some nice damage onto Incineroar. And he's going to Parting Shot out of here and go into the Lantern. So Lantern gets on out of here. Chances are Trick Room is probably popping now. I should have went first Luna. And they're going to bring out their Ursa Luna and pop Trick Room at the same time. Okay. Yep, so they're gonna pop Trick Room. They got Ursuline out here. Um, I was gonna say I could E Speed, but I can't really E Speed. I can't really E Speed. Um, hmm. Come here, I'm just gonna stick with Muddy Water. Actually, I might just hard swap into Dragapult here. Or I could hard swap into my Ursuline. What's your speed? How slow are you? One for your speed's rather high. I didn't realize how, how fast you actually are. I might just sacrifice my pole and keep Lantern on the field. I definitely want to wrestle this thing. Let's see, that's definitely our fight. You know, we're just going to stay on here, and I'm just going to go for a Muddy Water here. And on top of that, I'm just going to Terrasalize and go for a Terra Blast or Rock Slide. I think I'd rather choice into Rock Slide. Yeah, we're going to choice into Rock Slide. So I think they're going to Terrasalize as well. End up withdrawing Frigraph. So if Frigraph gets to withdraw, probably go back into Incineroar, right? Yeah, they're going to go back into Incineroar. So we KO Incineroar here. We should KO Incineroar. I think they terrestrialized the, the Ursuline. Yeah. That's exactly why I want to stick with the Rock Slide. They're going to terrestrialize. Probably go straight normal, if I had to guess. And Rock Slide can chunk up some damage. I mean, they intimidate us. We might want to hard swap. I don't know. They have Fake Out ready to go as well. And I'm terrestrializing in the grass. Nice level grass turn. Just so, just in case you want to go for the ground move, right? Ground move looking real scary. Looking real scary. So we're going to pop that grass turn. We have Rock Slide cooking. I'm trying to get this to connect here onto both these guys to finish them off. But they're just going to go for a blood move here. Into who? Into that, is that Lantern? You're attacking my Lantern? And you get a crit. I was going to say, we have Vest. Maybe we can eat that up. But chances are, regardless, crit or not, we're dying to that. So he's going to lose some HP. Rock Slide is going to connect. And Sinor should die out here, which it does. And now I'm sitting here in two. Now I can go into my Ursuline, which I like. Um, and we can save our Dragapult for the back end. Not bad. Not bad. And they're going to bring out Frigraph. So Frigraph here, Ursaluna out on the field as well. And do we just double protect and waste out a turn of Trick Room? There's three turns of Trick Room. I would think they would go for a Hyper Voice more so than anything. And to be honest, I think i go for a Blood Moon here. Because he can't go for Blood Moon right now. We might as well start attacking. We might as well start attacking and maybe protect next turn. So he goes for Helping Hand. He's going to go for Helping Hand Hyper Voice. That's looking scary. It's looking real scary. And hopefully both my Pokemon can eat this up. I'd be very upset. We're at full HP. And they both die. None of them soak it. That is ridiculous, man. That is ridiculous. They both die. Full HP. This thing's just getting some crazy boost. Life Orb, Stab, Helping Hand. That's just terrible, man. That's just terrible. That is real. That, that's real hurdy, man. So I could have wasted out some trick and turns and had a shot at this, but... Come on, man. Double KO from the Ursaluna. That Pokemon's so strong. We're going to run this one. Hop into our second match. Look to use Lantern a little bit more and grab ourselves our first win. Moving on to match number two. Going up against a Reggie Rock team. Looking for our first win with Lantern. That last match, Ursaluna just dumped on us, right? Hit that Terra button. Had the Life Force boost. Had the Helping Hand boost. Had the Terra boost. Had the Stab boost. And just KO'd all my Pokemon in one shot. We stood no chance. But they got Reggie Rock. Really cool Pokemon with Prima Arena, P2, Latios, and then Storm Drink Ashton, and last but not least, they do have T-Tar. Um, okay, so T-Tar for Weather Control. 
looking a little scary. I could maybe go like Ursaluna. I do have the ground move to deal with that. On top of that, I do have Hyper Voice. So I might want to lead Ursaluna alongside with Amoongus. I like the Rage Powder. I like everything about it. So you know what? I'm going to go in with both of them. I'm going to bring in the lovely Lantern in the back end. And last but not least, probably would rather go in with Arcanine, right? Arcanine's solid. I kind of want to save our Terra for him. Because a Grass Terra with Terra Blast works wonders up against this squad. It's going to be super effective onto the Rock, onto the Primarina, onto the Gastrodon, onto the Titar. That's four Pokemon we can deal with with a, with a Choice Band Terra Blast. I like it. I like it. I'm just going to have to remember to save our Terra for that. Because I know something's going to happen where it's just like, oh, I should probably Terra here. I'm just going to send Terra and kind of screw myself in the back. But Pokemon that I believe they are going to lead is maybe P2 to pop Trick Room. Which I wouldn't mind. I have Amoongus on the field with Ursaluna. This Ursaluna is rather fast, but still, Amoongus in Trick Room, phenomenal. I'll just Spore City, right? But um, they could also lead a Pokemon like Titar and Regirock and just get the rocks cooking, right? Then if that's the case, I could just start dropping Earth Powers. Because there's Sporn as well. To maybe protect Ursaluna turn one and then start Sporn. That's not a bad call. Let's just see who they end up leading here. It is going to be Titar Regirock. So Titar Regirock come out here. I don't really know what Regirock does. Maybe Iron Defense, stuff like that. Definitely a possibility. But from here, I'm going to put somebody to sleep. I am going to put Regirock to sleep. I'm going to protect Ursuline here. I'm going to say Regirock. It's time to go to bed. We're just going to put him to sleep. We are just going to put Regirock to sleep. Not the only. It's funny how Titar is taller than Regirock. It is kind of fun. So we're going to see a Terra pop out here from T-Tar maybe go flying. Yeah, T-Tar is going to go flying here. And it's going to go grass, which I don't mind. I can still hyper boost that. I can palm puff it. I can blood moon that. We don't mind that. And I'm looking just to put Reggie Rock to sleep. So my bear is going to protect. We're going to put up a nice little shield. Shield in the bear here. And T-Tar is going to go for a Terra Blast. So this is a beautiful protect for us. A beautiful protection. This thing's going to iron defense up. We don't like that. Good thing I am special attacking. I might just start targeting that. I might start targeting down that. So we spore Reggie Rock. He's plus one on defense. Um, He's going to be guaranteed to sleep next turn. t is going to take a little bit of buff. Now, from here. From here, what I'm really thinking of doing is just going for a Terra Blood Moon. I know I said I want to save my Terra for, for what's it called, for Arcanine, but now is just such a good time to use it, so you know what, I'm going to do it, and honestly, I could just Rage Powder and just start Earth Powering, no, 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 we're not, we're, we're, we're not, we're not going to play this one stupid, we're not going to play this one stupid, we're going to Terrastalize, and we're just going to go into a Palm Puff into the Ursula slot, that's my point, that's my point, I'm going to Terrastalize here. I know I want to save it for the Arcanine, but this is just, we have to do it now. I feel like this is a solid play for us to do it now. If they do have Gashon in the back end, I'd be upset, but I don't know if they do. Blood Moon's going to be cooking. Regirock is definitely asleep this turn, which is massive. And Blood Moon's going to do some big time damage. Play Blood Moon up, he is going to go for a low kick, and that does some damage. Good thing we outspeed that, though. Regirock going to be slumped. So Reggie Rock being slump, we're gonna be able to pump up, get back a ton of each pill. We can't rage powder in the shot, which kinda sucks. So I feel like we have to take out what's called. I feel like we have to take out T-Tar here. I feel like we have to take out T-Tar. And you know what? That's exactly what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna hyper voice. I'm gonna pop my I'm gonna pop my uh throat spray. I'm gonna rage powder just in case Reggie Rock wakes up. And then we'll try to get after him next turn. Because it only has defense boost. And I have a few special attacks on the field. Earth Power should be able to chunk up some damage. Especially with Throat Spray plus one. It is something I like. So I'm going to Rage Powder. Just in case the Reggie Rocks wakes up. We know our Ursuline is faster. It was a good call for them to go into low kick. But he ends up just withdrawing T-Tar. That's fine by me. T-Tar gets to withdraw. And who are you going to go into? You're going to go into Latios. Latios comes out here. And we're Rage Powder. just in case he wakes up. And, and he's ready to go for Body Press. We just don't feel like dealing with that. We just do not feel like doing that. So Hyper Voice is going to fly here. Boppo. Big time damage on the Latios, which we love. 
and I get my throat spray pop. So, not bad. So, we know they have T Tar in the back end with Terra Blast. That's looking a little scary. I bet your box going to be slumped. So, now from here, I might just pop. Do I pop and puff up the, uh, the Ursaluna again? I might. I might, because I don't know if Earth Power is going to KO. Earth Power, I could pump up, I could Rage Powder. I think I'm just going to Rage Powder this turn. Yeah, I'm definitely going to Rage Powder. He's going to protect Latios. That's perfect. Latios with the Protect. Or Rage Powder, because I know Regirock's waking up. I know he's waking up. That was, I think, three turns? Or was that two? I th I'm almost positive he's going to wake up here, but Earth Power is going to fly here. And Earth Power does not pick up the KO, which we hate. Regirock's going to wake up. And there's the Body Press. So, Rage Powder working perfectly. Um... From here, I'm just going to simply Rage Powder again. Right? I'm just going to Rage Powder again. And the reason I'm going to Rage Powder again is because once I land this Hyper Voice, it should KO the Reggie Rock and it should KO the Latios as well. So if they KO, if they KO like that, that'll be fine. Or if they KO my Amoongus, that'd be fine. But Ursuline is really thriving right here. He's going to protect Reggie Rock. Okay. That's cool by me. That's cool by me. We just need to keep our Ursuline on the field. Just need to keep our Ursuline on the field. AC Wind's gonna come out here. And who's dodged that? Ursuline dodged that. That's beautiful. So you're gonna keep my Amoongus on the field for another turn. Beautiful. Wow, man. I had so many chances to Palm Puff, which I would have loved to use. But I'm just playing it safe with the Rage Battle. Because again, this team is gonna be very tough for us to actually win with. And we're trying. We're trying. This is a pretty good start for us. So we get the crit on Latios, we're KOing regardless. Get it on out of here. Reggie Rock low HP. Gonna get back a little bit of uh, leftovers HP. And I have a feeling they're just gonna bring back out T Tar, which I don't mind. I would just Rage Powder again. And then just go for Hyper Voice. Pretty simple. We just have to protect our Ursaluna. That's the whole point of a move, this right here. So I still have Lantern in the back end, and I have his Suin Arcanine, which is great. I can choice in the E-Speed if I need it. I do like it. I do like it. T-Tar comes back out here. He's going to set up the Sand Street. So I'm really hoping this Hyper Voice KOs. I think it does. And I'm just going to sit here and Rage Powder again. Because we know T-Tar outspeeds Ursa Luna. Actually, oh my lord, what am I doing? That was stupid play. I can't Rage Powder T-Tar. I cannot Rage Powder T-Tar. I cannot Rage Power T-Tar. Do we outspeed it? I don't think we do. Okay, we do. Never mind. Okay, beautiful. Works out perfectly. So I have Rage Power just in case. If I would have known we outsped, I should have remembered. And Reggie Rock actually survives on one. So Rage Power was actually a good call. But I was going to say, if I knew we outsped, I would have just went for a Palm Puff there. But this works perfectly because you're going for a Body Press. Yeah, <laughs> so Rage Power works fine. So we just spam Rage Power. I can now get out Arcanine. And I could choice into E Speed. Or I could just go Lantern. I'm kind of thinking Lantern's to play with Muddy Waters. Depending on who they bring out. Muddy Water Lantern. Coming in hot here. Coming in hot here. But I know Hyper Voice would now KO. But I'm going to go Lantern here. A little bit of Lantern action. And they're going to throw out Primarina. So from here, to be honest, I am just going to protect the bear. Actually, no, we might as well attack with the bear. And just E-speed, because the bear outspeeds Reggie Rock, and they just cancel battles. So Lantern comes out on the field, and they're like, nah, yo, we're not dealing with that. They cancel battle, and we get our first win. Moving on to our final match, and I'm super happy that we grabbed at least one win for you guys with Lantern. We threw it out on the field, our opponent got real scared, and they just canceled the battle, so we take that all day. But I want to use Lantern a little bit more here in match number three. We're going up against an Archaludon team with Thunderous, with Fluttermane, with Amoongus, Incineroar, and Urshfu. So, again, more meta Pokemon that we got to deal with. Who should we lead here? We could maybe go in with you. You do have Gigiton Hammer. I do like that. I do like that. 160 speed's not bad either. Not bad. You got Encore, you got Thunder Wave. Um, Pokemon that I think they're going to lead could be Thunderous and Archaludon. I think Archaludon is real scary. I could go into Ursaluna again. Could also go into Lantern. I want to just go with Moongus. 
and Ursula. And again, I kind of like that lead. Or I could intimidate them. You know, I'm going to go these two. I'm going to bring a lantern in the back end, and we're going to have some fun with this one. Last one. Got to go in with the Arcanine. So this one's going to be tough. This one's going to be really tough. I'm telling you guys right now. A big time problem. This lantern team's tough to play with. I'm struggling out here. We're one and one. We had to use Ursaluna and kill it with Ursaluna to grab ourselves a win. But we were winning that one regardless. I really hope, I really wish our opponent would actually play that one out just so we can choke his lantern a little bit more. But they end up going into these two. So I can fake out. Um, I could hyper voice trigger my, my what's called, which could be really good. I could encore this thing. He might be just, be just going for a rain dance. Um, I'm scared of the body press. I am terrified of the body press. You know what? I'm just going to go fake out. Yeah, I'm just going to go fake out, and I'm just going to go earth power here. Fake out earth power can be my play. Hopefully it doesn't protect the Archie. Could be Cover Cloak with that. With that, what's it called? With that Thunders. But they're going to trash this here. Is that Arch Ludon? Yeah. Please don't be flying. Fairy. Okay, so Fairy Terror type. Not too bad. We are faking out. We are going to stamina boost it, which I don't like. I kind of wish we would have popped Hyper Voice this turn then. But I'm able to just fake out here. Do a little bit of damage. He's going to get that stamina. We don't like that. And he's going to Eerie Impulse me. Oh, man. Oh, man. Arch Ludon's looking real scary. So, we're going to stamina boost and plus two. Can Gigaton Hammer do some sort of damage here? I would really hope. I would really hope, because that's what I'm going for. I'm going for Gigaton Hammer. So I'm going to Gigaton Hammer up. Um, I could go for a hard swap into Arcanine. Or I could go into maybe Lantern. Whatever that would go into here. Yeah, I'd rather save my Arcanine. I'm going to go into Lantern. So I'm going to hard swap into Lantern. Gigaton Hammer, we're hoping can maybe just like dump on this thing. It's special or it's physical attack. It's not anything crazy. But Gigaton's hammer base power is like 160. I know he's plus two on defense. He's going to also Thunder Wave me down. So he Thunder Waves me down. This thing's looking just body press. He's going to body press KO me, aren't you? Let's see what he's got cooking here. Flash can coming to hide. You should soak this. You're part steel. All day. All day. Gigaton Hammer flying. Come on, Tinkaton. Not nearly as much as I wanted. So this thing is boosted now. <laughs> this thing is boosted now. Um, huh. I could Thunder Wave this thing. I can't kick it on Hammer twice, which is stupid. And... I think we might just try Thunder Wave that. Thunder Wave that and just Muddy Water across the board. Damage is damage. Yeah, I have best. It's gonna eerie impulse me again. It's so annoying. I have so many special attackers, so it's just gonna be a pain. Trying to deal with the body press gonna fly and kill me. Okay, Lantern. Gonna need some crits out of you, buddy. Definitely gonna need some crits. Muddy water flying. Doing okay damage. We got an accuracy drop, which is solid. The stamina boost. The stamina gets boosted. Um He's gonna eerie impulse me if I bring you out. Body press kind of messes us both up. So I have to go into Arcanine here. I have to Terrasalize. And I have to get after. I might hard swap Ursula. I might hard swap Ursula. But I have to Terrasalize. And I'm gonna go into Rock Slide. And I'm gonna hard swap into Ursula. So we're looking. To kind of get things cooking, but it's so tough with this thing just eerie impulsing me every single turn. So now I get out Arcanine. I'm forced to use my terror because body press would just absolutely massacre me. And we're hoping Rockside can do a decent amount of damage, right? I don't know if it can KO. I really don't I don't I really don't think it can or Arch Ludon. I'm really hoping it can. This thing is so bulky right now, it's ridiculous. But we get the grass terror cooking. Rock slide stab, rock slide choice band. We like that. Should be able to do a nice chunk of damage. He's gonna thunder wave me. So he's just paralyzing me left and right. And he's probably going for another body press. Very annoying. Very annoying to deal with this. Body press coming in hot here. And did he miss? Oh, baby. The lantern accuracy drop. The lantern accuracy drop coming in hot here. Picking up some big time damage. He's gonna get stamina boosted. I hate this game so much. 
And from here, we're gonna stick with this. Stick with this rock slide, and we're gonna double down into this arch loop. Try to get rid of it with hyper voice. Just trying to get rid of it. Just trying to get rid of it. Then we have Lantern in the back, which is good. He's gonna eerie impulse me. That's fine. That forces me to hard swap into Lantern next turn. And as long as I can eat up, actually you have speed, so that's speed double KO. That's big, that's big, that's big, that is big. So we get a double KO, we're moving up in the ranks here. All right, so they have two Pokemon left. We have Lantern, they have two left. <clears throat> My Pokemon are at full HP, which is good. So that was big time KO for, for our guys to get after that. We are gonna throw spray up. So now we're only minus one. Okay, now, now the question is, maybe I can stay in here with Ursula. Pick up some big time damage. <clears throat> I don't need to like fully KO, I just need to do enough where Rockside can pick up the KO afterwards, right? That's really where we sit. So we got the Grass Terror on our head. They're gonna bring out Amoongus. I like that, I can't be spored. And then their final Pokemon is going to be... Fluttermane. So that's the Pokemon that needs to go. It needs to go. Fluttermane's got to go. So good thing we have double hitting moves. I'm gonna rip that. I'm gonna rip Hyper Voice. I do have Mind's Eye as an ability. And honestly, that accuracy drop from Lantern was so big on that Arch Luna, making it miss a body press. We love that. We love that. We love it. So Moonblast's gonna get cooking. We cannot survive another one of those. Hyper Voice flying. We're minus one. And oh man, maybe we should have swapped it. Rock Slide cooking as well. And let's go. Big time crit on the Flutter main. That's gonna give us a win all day. All day. All day long. It's Lantern team going two and one. Lantern team going two and one. We love it. They're gonna spore me here. I just don't think you could do enough. I'm gonna swap into Lantern here. Just in case they wanna stay in here. But they're gonna spore me. And I'm just gonna be able to go for a rock slide. I'm choosing into that. I'm gonna swap into Lantern. Chances are they just cancel battle, right? Amoongus not putting up a fight here. Yep, there it is. Cancel battle. Two and one showcasing Lantern. Had a blast using this team in today's video. Lantern, a lot of fun. Didn't use it too, too much, but definitely got out some viable plays with it. Muddy Waters coming out. We had E-Web, we had Ice Beam, we had Dazzle Gleam. Just a very coverage move-based Pokemon. Lantern was able to pair up with Ursaluna today, and Amoongus getting off some big-time damage. Ursaluna definitely carried this team, and same thing with Arcanine. I think Arcanine did really, really well as well. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread spots every day, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.